Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy, how are ya? Friday, uh, the 14th of June, 2013. Little Team Misto time, how about that? Mm. Ooh, I get so many messages, um, and I just don't have the time uh, available in my life to, to get back to individuals. So I want to try to uh, answer some stuff, put it out there for you. And one of the most recent messages I got was, give us some motivation, inspire us, you know, tell us the, what to do. And I have 500 plus videos on here uh, that do that. So if you're not starting from the beginning, uh, go back, you know. Go back to March 17th, 2009. Type in pre-op liquid diet. Type in week one lap band. I mean, pretty much week one all the way to week 191. And I've taken a lot of flack uh, from fellow community members about my labeling of videos by the week. But, booyah! <laughs> There's a reason for it, you know? So people out there who are trying to find uh, something to relate to, uh, by the week that they're post-op, like I did, can. So it's there. You know, I, I hear YouTube has got my videos all scrambled up. I can find them all. They're there. So, when in doubt, banded Wendy, week 20, post-op, lap band, you know, and you can go week 1 through week 191 for sure. Plus, there's another 300 videos out there about randomness that you might find interesting. But... And I've made the videos. I've made the old lady down the street that nobody likes because she's right. Yeah, I made that video. It was a big turning stone, <laughs> turning point uh, in my YouTube life, quite frankly. Uh, and there's been a couple other videos in that same genre. Um, I pissed some people off, you know. Um, I've had the opportunity to meet some of those people uh, in real life, and they told me. A lot of my videos pissed them off uh, because they weren't interested in listening. They weren't interested in that mental work. They weren't interested in change. They hadn't given up the resistance to the program, you know, the weight loss surgery life program. And then six months later, they realize, I better go back and watch Banded Wendy. And they apologize to me and they say they get it now and they've taken notes and we could be having a conversation with somebody and they start speaking my words right out of my mouth. It's like, damn, she really did watch all my videos and took notes. So, up to you. I don't know, right? But a couple of things that have, you know, everybody listens and learns and, and, and takes in information in a different way. So, you know, even though I feel like I've made this video, it's not a bad reminder for myself. Um, I'm four years, two months post-op, uh, two and a half months, almost three months post-op. I am two years and 11 months tomorrow away from claiming my goal weight. So I've been almost at my goal weight for three years. So it's, it's, a, it's a trickery, trickery, <laughs> trickery, and it's tricky, trepidation. Um, it's an interesting place to be on the journey. For sure, you know. So, with that said, I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, everybody had a reason for having weight loss surgery. I don't know what yours is. I know what mine is. It's individual, right? I don't want to be fat anymore. I didn't even use the word obese until I had weight loss surgery and became more knowledgeable about how offensive the word fat is. I'm not offended by the word fat. If you are, I'm sorry, right? It's my channel. I'm just being me. Um, I didn't want to be fat anymore. I wanted to go shopping. I wanted to be able to dress in clothes that everybody else was wearing. I live in Los Angeles, you know? You don't throw on a, a tarp and go walk around and feel good in it in L.A. It just doesn't happen, you know? That's what I was doing. So I wanted to feel good and, and have some type of fashion. And notice my big fashion sense of the day. Not much, but I just woke up. Um, 
So my goals were to lose weight and uh, be 145 pounds, which was going to be 99 pound loss in my weight loss surgery journey. I weighed 269 pounds at one time, as far as I know. It could have been more. I don't know. But in the world of weight loss surgery, I wanted to lose 99 pounds. And I wanted to be a size 10. I had goals. Those two goals. That's it. So what are your goals? They don't have to be a list of 600,000 goals. Pick two. Pick the ones that matter. What are they? Those are your goals. Nobody else's. Yours. Sure, I wanted to get there as fast as possible. Who doesn't? You know? Don't spend time wishing that you were doing it faster. Don't spend time saying, I want to be like. You cannot compare yourself. I did not. Never. Never compared myself to anybody else on the journey. I had amazing friends. I still have amazing friends. Their journeys are different than mine. Right? I'm an individual. So are you. What are your goals? It took me a while to lose the weight, you know? Uh, it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, we want it to happen as fast as possible, but that's not the game we're in. It's not. Give it up. Let go of that. The journey, you know, the time it takes you to lose the weight, it's your time. Own it. Take all the struggle and work through it. Live it, you know? Change. It's not easy. It's going to be hard. Um, the rules, the rules, the rules. You know, I take flack about the rules too. But guess what? They're working for me. Booyah! You know, I'm still a rules girl. From the beginning until the end. You know? Um, so, in that time to lose the weight, follow the rules. And if you're following the rules that your surgeon provided you, I've made videos about the rules that my surgeon provided me. You can go find Band and Wendy the rules, right? What are your surgeon's rules? I mean, I still know exactly where I can go grab my rules right now. My lifestyle is ingrained of those rules. It did not happen overnight. You know, I spent the first 15 weeks of my journey, and you can go back and watch the videos, really trying to focus on my new body, the sensations, the awareness, and my food. And then I realized, well, I wasn't exercising enough, and that was a rule, and then I started exercising. And then and at week 15, which is what, three months? And it took me nine more weeks, so let's say it's another six, you know, six months to get the fitness thing going for me. And then it took another two months to get the water thing going for me. So I was eight months into my journey before I could actually say that I was giving myself grades on the rules, you know, every week. And it was eight months for, before I realized, shit, I'm not drinking enough water. What about you, you know? So the rules are there for a reason. Um, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta figure out how they're going to work for you and what you're going to have to change in your life and who you might have to eliminate out of your life and the things that you currently do that aren't working for you, get rid of it, you know, get rid of it. It's, it's not working for you. Um, it's a do over. This whole thing is like, in my opinion, the last chance, you know, the last chance, biggest loser workout. No, this is the last chance. Biggest loser, life. You know? You're the biggest loser. Your own loser. Lose the weight. That's what you got to do. Get your goals. I got to my goals by following the rules and not giving up and taking it one day at a time, not comparing myself to anybody else, supporting others, getting support back, knowing that if I keep doing what's right, even if the scale didn't move, I'm going to get there. You know? Eventually that scale is going to move. And if it's not moving, you're not doing something right. I don't care what anybody else says. That's my truth. The truth. Right? So take a look at what you're doing. Reevaluate. Make some changes. Move ahead. Like I like to say. Onward! Alright, so that's, that's going to be it for this video. I want to talk about maintenance, but for those out there struggling, figure out the struggle. It's not rocket science. It's not a mystery. It's in your rules and how you're living them. You can do it. You can. Don't give up. It's not worth it. Giving up is the old way. How many times do you make excuses in the past when you were fat? Don't give, it, don't give yourself that chance. It's not worth it.